The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Pro Trader webinar series. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, we do this uh, webinar series, um, oh, I don't know, once or twice a quarter. Uh, it depends. Uh, and uh, uh, th the whole idea here is, uh, well, we have a network of traders uh, out there uh, and uh, just doing some excellent work. Uh, and uh, have them come in and, uh, uh, you know, present to you how they trade uh, and uh, uh, what what they're looking at. Uh, all sorts of different traders out there, different strategies, different setups, uh, different instruments. Uh, and um, uh, this is uh, uh, for, for you guys to, to learn from the professionals. So today we have Jay Trader. Uh, he's going to uh, go through his uh, his book map uh, uh, analysis and, and, and setups, and he has some live stuff to show as well. Uh, the risk disclaimer I need to go through here, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, Jay Trader here, just an in intro. He's been trading for quite a while, uh, since uh, 18 years old, uh, staying up late and um, uh, he's gone through uh, options uh, and into uh, uh, trading just massive volume and also, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of um, uh, uh, day trading um, and scalping. Uh, wishes he had bookmap back in the day when he was looking at level two instead. Uh, and then uh, now uh, Jay Trader uh, focuses mainly on futures, U.S. equities and options uh, and is the main trader at the small cap room. So um, without further ado, uh, let me. Oh. Uh, here is his content or contact information. I've copied this. I will put it into the chat um, and um, so that uh, you guys can, here it is, uh, so that you guys can uh, uh, simply click on the links or, or copy the information. If you want to reach out to JTrader uh, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, talk, to, talk to him about his trading. Uh, all right. So, uh, J Trader, let me turn it right over to you and uh, and take it away. Good morning, everybody. Yep, we can hear you just fine. Okay, you should be able to see my screen over here of Bookmap. Yep. Okay, perfect. So, welcome everybody to the webinar. First of all, I want to start. Last time we spoke about uh, volume imbalance, volume divergence. So you can go watch the previous webinars on bookmap.com. Uh, we spoke about institutional manipulation, algos or algorithms, how the big hands trap the retailer trader. Okay, so you are basically the retailer. And it's very important. Uh, bookmap is a useful tool, without a doubt. And I will tell you how to have a better edge. Uh, so first of all, how I set my template over here. Um, you can go over here in uh, settings, study configurations. Uh, the most important aspects for me are having the volume dots that I uh, use to redouble, uh, smart over here, transparency, uh, volume imbalance, okay. I put the VWAP, um, large lot tracker, you can put it. Uh, cumulative volume delta over here for setups below. And then this right panel, okay? So first you have this column, COB, current order book. You see how to make it, configure column, you press plus, and then you go choose uh, the one you prefer. In this case, current order book. And it shows you the liquidity, okay? So the orders at each level, so on the ask, okay, and on the bid. Here on the right, you have another one. You have current order book, but this is a cumulative volume. So each um, level is the sum of all the previous levels. And you have to put over here aggregate, okay? This means um, Right now, price is over here. This morning we were trading AMPE is 112.113. We have 36,113, uh, 4,000 at 112. But if you sum 13, 36, uh, 12, 56, 20, you have this amount on the right. So right away, look traders, 113 
take 10 cents above, so 123, and 10 cents below, 103. 103, we have a total amount of 270,000 shares that want to buy, okay? Or maybe they're over there to cover a short position. At the same time, 10 cents above 123, we have twice, almost twice that amount, 480, okay? Then we have over here on the right, times and sales. And I like to have two different types of times and sales. Uh, let me show you. First of all, I like to see block orders. So I will keep minimum size 3,000. And this I'm only talking for the small caps. If I trade Netflix, Tesla, uh, Baba, BA, NVIDIA, Apple, basically those are the main the caps that I trade. I will put this to uh, 1,000 shares. And then I have a normal time of sale. So default, okay? Uh, you can minimize. Uh, minimum size, put uh, 100 or 200 shares as you prefer. I put one, I mean, uh, I want to see basically this speeding up green when I want to have a long position or speeding down red when I want a short position or uh, I'm waiting for a panic sell-off. Um, on the chart, each dot, even if in the beginning I see traders telling me this looks confusional, no. Once you learn it, and it takes really one hour to learn all the, the features. Uh, then you're ready to take uh, a next step and learn the strategies. So you see these big dots. When you have big dots, it means you have a very high volume size. In this case, we have 555, 898,000 shares, okay, traded at this level. And you see that when the, um, the market opens 930, we have a big soak so this big red dot means that we had a ton of sellers, but we had a big buyer, okay? So the big buyer over here that he was simply holding and then absorb and push the stock all the way up. So I'm gonna do like this um, in order for you to understand this better. Okay, so this over here is a big soak. This is the trade we're still in. I took a screenshot and I'm in with probably the majority of the traders in small cap room. I also recorded this, so it will be later tonight on YouTube. Um, and we are waiting for that push. When I saw this push, I knew already that I was looking to short into a daily resistance, 150, and you see over here we had liquidity, 232,000, so a big seller. And remember this big seller because you will see it uh, later again. Then we had another big seller over here, okay? Uh, this time there was uh, 33,000 over here. So once I saw this stopping, once I saw this, you see over here what I did? I took my fill, two thirds position in, so right away over here, 137, almost up tick. I was risking this 140, so three cents of risk. And then we started to unwind. Once I saw this consolidation, see over here, 130, 132, I'm gonna enlarge a bit. I took another short exactly over here into this 129, 128. So I add, I added one third. And then after this, we, I was looking, is, this algo over here pushing down so coming more down okay i had a little bit more over here we had this push and from this moment i said okay this is gonna work because i had algo moving down here see 107k so it means that over here we have one big seller or big hand that is pushing down the stock that wants to top it so basically, there's a one that we go back up again anymore. This red line is the VWAP, okay? So you know that the VWAP, we will have buyers trying to long over here, and below we'll have short sellers looking to short. I cover half of my position over here, 114. So um, exactly over here, 
okay? Because I saw, exactly over here, because I saw traders, this one, that in this moment, we started having some support over here, some support over here, and uh, we had a lot of green on the tape. I knew that this was only a bounce, but at least I wanted to take half profit. I was already in for ninth and R profit, risking three cents, and made an, at an average 134, 135, cover 114, I made like, um, yeah, uh, something like uh, 8R, 7, 8R. Came up again over here, and I was waiting for another algo showing, okay, resistance. And at that moment, we had this push 942 over here, started to reject near the VWAP, then another push. You see the algo over here, 233,000, is the same one that we had this morning at 150. It's always the same big and trader institutional or algo whatever is the same one so always see this that moves it comes down so logically if you have somebody that wants to top the trade wants to sell wants to dump at 150 that that after moves at 125 means that he wants to push it more down he wants to get definitely um, filled or top it for more unwind, probably below one. Going over, we started having exactly over here a push to 1007 to the VWAP, and look how it works over here. So, exactly over here, 118, I took an ad. So, basically, what I covered over here, I re added over here. And then I started from that moment again looking, are these algos, you see over here 230, he moved over here at 130, are these algos starting to come lower? Yes, because you can see that from here went to here, went to here, and went to here. So now it's stopping. I already cashed half of my position with uh, members, then re-added, and now I'm waiting for a dump, okay? So my overall trade, I'm looking for 15, 16 R return, okay? This is how Bookmap, one of the strategies that I use on Bookmap on faders, the same thing for the long side. So meanwhile, I uh, just want to update you. I'm using this 118 as my trail, okay? So my average now is 126. If I have a 118 push, uh, over here, this start tipping. I'm gonna get out. You see the dump over here, and you see the red. This is all live traders, 50k block traders over here, block orders 10k, uh, another 10k over here. You see 10 a 75. Over here we have 10 to 38. Sometimes it can be the same uh, big hand dumping, and this is dumping hard. Um, so beautiful trade. Uh, we'll send tonight update also on the live recording. Now I want to show you something more. So some different aspects on how Bookmap can help you. And remember, I use this for you can use this for futures. I know that Bruce will have other um, traders explaining it. Uh, I trade personally this on big caps uh, and uh, small caps. Excuse, excuse me for just a moment, J Trader. Um... Sure. I, I, I just want to uh, interrupt for just a moment. Um, I know that uh, his um, resolution on his monitor is very high, so uh, you might be seeing uh, some very small text. Uh, so in GoToWebinar, uh, go to the top left and you'll see there's a zoom tool there. Uh, and then you can zoom by, and, and it says, go scroll down, click on that, scroll down, go to zoom. Two, and then you can either select like 75%, that's working well for me right now, or you can even, you know, select another percentage or a custom and put it in a percentage. Okay, so uh, yeah, try that. Um, and then once you have that, uh, you can just left click and hold and drag on the, on the screen there. So you'll be able to like zoom around uh, very, very easily by left click holding and dragging. Okay, so hope hope that helps. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, JTrader. Thank you, Bruce. 
uh, okay traders yeah this is basically a 4k that you see over here 43 inches so again open this was a stock that we played a couple weeks ago years price uh, 120 125 big soak okay so this level over here you see a big soak means a hidden buyer uh, absorb all these shares that uh, trader sold and he pushed it the same exact setup if you remember that we had today over here on uh, AMP big soak you see it big soak over here big dot and push and then we had that liquidity so trading is not that you have to imagine the price section you have to find a strategy so what, what I do every day is teach a, a strategy with exact entries and exits. Over here, we have a rejection. And again, you see this big liquidity, big ask coming in. And then you can take your short for all down wind. Okay. Again, we have a first 150 uh, big uh, heat map. This is called heat map. And then we have a second one. Okay. I'm going to zoom in for you traders. A second one over here that has big um, heat map at 140. Same as today, 150 and then one lower. Let's look another example. Okay, so this over here was KODK. Remember traders that in the past week we had a big mover, KODK. Traded a ton of volume. The stock tends to extend. So as a former runner, tends even to trade 200 million plus on a day. Uh, is one of those stocks that simply can rip. So very careful to trade something like KODK. Uh, first of all, uh, example over here. Again, soak. You see that we have half buyers, half sellers. Uh, the reason is we had sellers from the previous moves. So these are the bag holders that want to get out. Also, these are the short sellers that are pressing the bid just at the open that they want to fail. At the same time, we have buyers and hidden buyers over here that start pushing it, okay? So we see a soak and a big push in pre-market at seven o'clock. Look over here what happens uh, in this area, 9, 80, and 10, we have one resistance, second resistance third resistance so all together over here we have a pretty good liquidity but this stock is grinding vertically so this seems a parabolic move and you look over here they try to soak it okay so a big seller over here tried to soak it short seller and dump it no buyers were stronger you can see the breakout breakout and then still fuel this long okay so it's not only that heat map will be a rejection or a bounce. It can even like uh, be a continuation follow through if the liquidity that we have over here, so the buyers prevail, so the demand on the supply, okay? Another example on KVK, took different examples on this. So I hope you see it. Uh, this is zooming in, okay? So we have KVK, uh, this time, we are fading, okay? So this is coming back down from nine. Over here, bounce to so A90. You can see a double top, first a double top over here. And then under over VWAP. When you see this chart, it's not that you have to look every single dot that we have. It's really not important. What is important is look where we have the VWAP. Look where we have a whole lot of numbers, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And where we have big heat maps so big support or big resistances over here this is a classic fake breakdown and then push and over here when we have the eight o'clock you know when the majority of brokers open we start having back orders okay over here you see those big volumes and you get scared because you know what's happening just like normal uh activity from brokers we start having a fail and this is your confirmation VWAP projection and then over here on wine and look how the algo down here okay just the bottom of the screen behaves 
first you have a support once we start having this dump they cancel more on KODK let's see this is a manipulation uh, so arrays of algo uh, setup just know that you will see supports often moving up so how to long okay how to long a stock you need a setup this can be a pattern this can be based on a strategy moving averages a cup pattern whatever but then you have to look for confirmation it's not only sufficient uh, based in your strategy on price action and patterns because the volume is where the market will go volume tells you everything big hands create a support the first thing over here big hands create support then they put another support and then they started creating another level over here you see when it comes this moment and at this moment we have our algo raised and from here, we started seeing this accumulation. You see how they hold the support. They're trying to sell, they hold. They're trying to sell, but we have more buyers. And then we start pushing. And again, second raise of the algo. So it's the same big buyer, the, big, the same big algorithm, 20K, 22K, moving from here up till here. So the point of this is when you see something like this, it's a control move. Stay long, have your risk with this support, and then enjoy the move because these are the best moves to take along. Last one on KODK. I wanted to show you this because you can see how a stock, when it's manipulated, moves. Over here, 906 in one second, okay? goes 940. So this is support over here, algo, see it traders, okay? And who think that move this stock over here? The same algo over here, you see, canceled, start buying. So this calls, this is called propping the bid, buying over here. Over here we have all chasers, okay? Because the first part of the move is Ignixate by big hands from who controls the stock and up here we have chasers and then we start consolidation you see the big algo over here with 246,000 shares and then another push and again over here we have other retailers that they see the support and buy on support for the consolidation okay and then for the breakup this is how kodk moves very manipulated stock but we see a lot of these so it's very important that you see this price action over here the opposite side is when we have a rejection so okay so i think this will be pretty clear for everybody first of all uh this is almost um 3 30 over here so we start having a uh, pattern wedge you see uh high lower high sorry uh high higher low, lower high, higher low, lower high, contraction of volume, and you see that the volume down here is very weak, it's low, and then on the breakout, we have the volume increasing, okay? Each time you see this means follow through. We start pushing, 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 and by this time, my only reason is, do not trade against something so strong with this volume, but also, if I'm long, I need to see where I can sell. So I won't wait that I have a rejection. When I see something like this, I generally try to sell three, four, five cents before that big resistance. Because I know that when this big resistance touches, we have a high liquidity, 35K, and we can expect a, fa a fast unwind over here, a fast wash, okay, fast pullback. So careful, uh, I prefer personally to give away half of my position uh, in proximity of um, the resistance.
this is uh, from a trader in the room. So he was um, uh, very kind to uh, send this chart only to show you how a late fade works. You see over here, this is 2 p.m. Uh, this is part of uh, J lines that we use in the room. So perfect setup came over here uh, on this short of the J lines at 2 p.m. And he pointed out what happened on bookmap, that we have this trend line break. So you can use bookmap to, um, for patterns, okay? Flag, resistance support, uh, trend lines, cut patterns, whatever. And then we have a fail of the J lines, but this is not, sorry, fail of the trend line, but this is not the setup for entry. The setup for entry is when you have a confirmation, rejection, and curls down, and then unwind. Couple more examples, then we'll go probably with uh, with Bruce in uh, question and answer. So this is from another good member, a friend of mine, uh, Lehman. Um, only to point out OPTT, uh, big consolidation. You see, first we have the first strong move. Big consolidation over here, okay? This time is uh, Europe time, so this is 12.30 probably, uh, sorry, this is uh, 9.30, uh, this is 11.30 East time, okay, New York time. We start seeing over here a big uh, support, big liquidity over here. You can see traders. And then from this, we start curling and pushing. And over here, again, we have uh, liquidity stacked, so they act as a resistance. Um, here, only an example of uh, a member um that explains how good it is to see vwap rejection can be also for the long vwap bounce uh using also book map so we see two things over here this is the vwap okay on your chart we see the price not going only above the vwap this was a, a mid morning over here you see 10:35 uh, we short in the room over here, not only going above the VWAP, but going to that half dollar number, 350, near the previous resistance. So once this starts falling below VWAP, which is also this white level over here on the right on book map, you see it over here. We have this big unwinding, you see over here, this big wash. When you see something like this, means big seller, no bids, completely free, level two, wash and unwind. Uh, last over here of the examples. This was from uh, uh, Friday activity. So only to show again, uh, when we have a dip on a high liquidity, okay? So this is a high liquidity support. The intention of this is to hold the price up. Big dot again means that somebody uh, absorb all the sellers, okay? Uh, he absorbed and then he started to reverse the, tr the trend over here. And also we have a big wall of buyers. So this first liquidity over here, you see 60K, 47K, 43K. So we have something like 150,000 over here, 160,000 um, placed on the bid, waiting for this stock to go up. Okay, trader, so I leave the, the word to Bruce over here. Yeah. Our trade is going good, yes. Um, yeah, really great examples. Um, you, you, always, you always put together really great examples, uh, Jay Trader. Uh, so Thank you, um, Bruce. It's, it's really appreciated, they're, they're so clear. Um, so, I mean, you guys can see like how important it is to understand liquidity and volume and the, and really the context between that and the price movement. Like it, it's, it's everything uh, and uh, it's all here on the chart. Um, there's a question about um, J lines. Uh, what, what exactly are your J lines? Um, okay, J lines are uh, just simple, sorry, just exponential moving averages. I discovered back in uh, 2004, 2005, when I made transition from cover warrants and options to mainly uh, stocks and futures. 
uh, it's just a 7289 exponential moving average I use in different uh, setups in different scenarios by themselves they mean nothing how I use it they are very powerful uh, strategy okay so if they do set up and it does match with the order flow then then you use them as a confluence exactly often you will see that for example at the big level of support over here you see Bruce in this case we have um, some spoofing over here some fake bids spoofing they were together with the J line so this uh, this line over here this uh, blue wave okay and at the same time we can see that we have high liquidity exactly the VWAP yeah perfect yeah really really nice breakdown there um, so then um, also a question on the the purple line I believe the purple line on the sub chart and book map there is the liquidity tracker is that right yeah over here we have um, this is thanks to my friend can you drop it uh, because he implemented it in uh, his uh, uh, setup on book map so um, we have um, the divergence I like to to show it as a divergence and this is all his work all his study what I'm saying over here so if somebody needs I I will give you his referral but you can see over here that we have uh, an accumulation you see very um, tight uh, price over here so when I see this I expect personally a move when I see the price that get very uh, tight I expect this then a big move so that these two uh, lines the the purple and uh, the green one over here green red they get very uh, separated so so what exactly is the is it proprietary the purple line or is it um, uh, the liquidity tracker I, I was a little confused uh, I will show you over here Bruce uh, let me see uh, studies configuration so you can have just a, a quick look you see the cumulative volume delta and then uh, we have an imbalance over here okay oh, imbalance okay. minimum account volume size and then we have over here a maximum accountable volume size so I want to see the difference between the two I want to see when we have the the price uh, dumping and when we have fast moves we have this going down very uh, sharply okay very rapid okay and for me it's a very good indicator tells me the strength of the tape or the weakness of the tape yeah understood uh, really nice uh, so just filtering the cumulative volume delta uh, by by uh, order sizes there or trade sizes um, thank you Bruce let's see uh, lots of questions starting to come in um, Uh, Sam, some of the large uh, dots, um, yeah, if they're green, it's market buy orders. If it's red, it's market sell orders. Uh, if sometimes there's some in here that uh, uh, JTrader has uh, the total volume, so you see like a pie chart. So it's just that lots of transactions are happening very quickly that we give an overall delta for that, um, you know, cluster of, of transactions. So you can see that uh, some of them are like three quarters green. Well, then mostly it's buying. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, and uh, JTrader, maybe you want to, um, uh, so I see some of the charts are using the volume delta uh, new feature, and sometimes you're using the total volume. Is there kind of any setting on that that you uh, like in particular? Uh, for the cumulative volume delta, uh, well, but you mean no, uh, no, not uh, the volume dots, volume dots. Oh, okay, okay, sure. I will, uh, I will share. I have them. Studies configuration over here, uh, volume dots. Uh, pretty simple. I found for for myself. I just need this size not to be too big. I really don't like to uh, to cover all my chart. I'm just gonna keep it over here. The fifty percent. Transparency, smart, you can choose by time, by volume, if you want aggregation by five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, okay? If you go over here, you can see, but I prefer 
uh, only to have it smart. So Bookmap calculates it for me, and I think is pretty good. Uh, and that's it. Very very simple how I use it. Okay, uh, so you're using 7.0 Bookmap. 7.1 has a volume delta feature. Um, I'll, I'll share a link with you about it, uh, JTrader. So it's buy okay, minus perfect. sell. So um, so you'll see like uh, the the visualization is is uh, it's it's pretty nice. It's it's not total volume, but it it is buy minus sell. So it's the delta, but the, the okay. visual, visualization of it is very very clear. Mateus or Matis. So yeah, your key software uh, is Bookmap. He's asking, um, and then what is the other software? I guess that you're using there. Okay, over here I have uh, Bookmap. Uh, I use mainly this for order flow and, and price action, and also to see uh, something more than normal level two or times and sales. Because take a normal level two, okay, whatever the broker is, um, you will see only the first what four or five best offers and four or five best uh, bids is not sufficient. I want to see when I'm in a trade, what is 10 cents away, 20 cents away, 30 cents away. Uh, so those microstructures, you cannot see it with a normal level two. This is the edge that you have. Um, for charting software, there are so many out there. I don't want to, uh, publicize anything um, you can get in the room I will explain more uh, but any um, uh, charting software um, that allows you to have free market after hours and put few indicators you don't need something very complicated keep it simple you know kiss uh, is enough yeah yeah that's that's excellent that's actually what we usually say in the advanced webinars as well just like you need to understand your higher time frames. Uh, but uh, it doesn't need to be anything really advanced. Uh, and then what you want to understand is the order flow around your higher time frame levels. Exactly. Totally agree with you, Bruce. Um, let's see. Jerry is asking um, how you use the, well, I guess you already explained it, the CVD um, uh, imbalance, uh, in, et cetera. Jerry, he already went through that. Like he's looking for the um, gap between the two. Exactly. And, and uh, if it does gap like that, then, and when it tightens up, you know, he's, he's looking for it to gap again. Uh, it, it's going to break out at some point. Um, let's see here, Jorge. Okay, that uh, should answer your question, Jorge, uh, as well about the CVD. Oh, um, I put the uh, link in there for the liquidity tracker. It's free, you guys. Uh, so uh, there is one for market by order data. It's it's different. It's only with CME futures, and you have to have rhythmic data for those CME futures. So it's a very different thing. Uh, it will not work on stocks. Okay, but there is a liquidity. Well, that's the liquidity tracker pro, uh, in in stop iceberg tracker. But the liquidity tracker that is free will work on all markets. Okay. That have order books. Um, let's see. Uh, Taras is asking if you can show your uh, time and sales tape again in, in Bookmap and maybe how you're filtering. Sure. Okay. So I generally use two. Uh, let's put, for example, the AMP over here. So the first one over here, right click, uh, you go times and sales. Uh, you can. Um, Let's do it together, times and sales, okay? So when you do like this, just put plus, then you go over here, go down times and sales, and you put create. So it creates a new one. And then you can decide minimum size. So for big caps, I will use minimum size 1000 plus another times and sales set to default. While for small caps, I generally use uh, 3000 so that I can see all block orders. You see over here, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, all block orders or uh, big orders. So uh, it's very uh, important to see big hands and small hands. Okay, and then will you filter that? Uh, I guess you, you'll filter depend, depending on the stock. 
yeah, sometimes if I have even more liquidity, uh, I can use this at 5,000 or 10,000. Uh, but I see that average 3,000 is a pretty good filter. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, what, what's the minimum size and maximum size used for time and sales? Okay, so you just answered that. Uh, and then Sven, you missed it. What is the imbalance showing? Uh, yeah, it's it's the uh, I, I can also show you uh, Sven in, in the advanced webinars. But like what J Trader is looking at there, maybe you want to explain it one one more time, uh, J Trader, the uh, CVD and and um, how, how you're using it. Okay. That. So um, looking over here, this is uh, I'm going to put it on all screen over here. Uh, let me make it bigger. Okay. So when we have uh, very um, when we have these two lines getting together there's a contraction contraction is like an accumulation and that leads to a big move so what you see over here is this uh, let's make a rectangle you see this zone and this zone okay so this is the consolidation contraction that leads a big move so it's like an expansion of volatility but in this case is given from the imbalance of more sellers comparing to the buyers hope that was clear yeah yeah that's uh that's it um and um so um I don't know if this is proprietary uh, j trader but uh, i'm I'm kind of curious uh, myself like when you uh, wake up in the morning, uh, what is your process like? Uh, what? Um, uh, how do you start to go through uh, what you're looking for? Uh, what might be moving? Uh, what what stocks to trade and what the day might be like? Okay, the first thing I do in the morning is going for a run, <laughs> <laughs> and then hit the gym. You know, I like to train. Then get to my computer and uh, run the scanners. You don't need traders to really buy fancy scanners. Uh, if you have a little bit of money, invest in Bookmap, and after two months, you will tell me thank you. Uh, just run the scanner that your broker has. If you want, you can get um, a good, uh, let's say, um, broker that allows you also to short, uh, but that's up to you. Depends if you trade big caps or small caps, if you're long bias or short bias. So I run my scans, this around 6.30, 6.15. I stay already in pre-market to trade. I share every single trade in the room. Uh, we trade together. The majority of the members, they do not follow alerts, but we trade together because I teach a strategy. So when you get in, you receive a playbook and we trade a playbook. Uh, from seven till nine, we'll trade pre-market if we have setups. For example, this morning in pre-market, I had no setups. Market seemed like that, seems, seemed like the holiday, besides some gap down and, and Tesla spiking. And then from nine o'clock, uh, I focus on three or four stocks, generally two or three small caps, one or two big caps. And from 9.30, I'm on screen share. So I share my charts, how I take a field executions, and I explain uh, that the setup. If something for me is not systematic or analytical, for example, I have five green lights, five parameters that are met, I may take the trade. If this is not all in agreement, I may not take it. So my approach is pure, uh, purely technical. Technical from price action, from research and stats. So this means through S2 trade, uh, looking for stats and data, how many times the stock faded, for how much percent downside, uh, what time high of the day, and so on. And then through book map to see microstructure of support resistance where we have algos where we have like big hands players that jump in or jump out so it's very simple but you need all these three, three things together this is if you want to be a professional trader or even if you want just like uh have an extra income never follow blind trading that means follow alerts because trust me you will never make money on the long run Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, Scott is asking, "What 
are you scanning for in the morning? Very simple. Um, gaps above 20%, but still uh, at least 10%, I start like looking at the gaps. For big caps, I don't need to scan anything because big caps generally I trade my main ones, Tesla, Netflix, Apple, and I have a specific uh, playbook over there. So I trade for setup, that's it. For small caps, it's uh, more due to the news, uh, to um, uh, the price action in pre-market, the volume. So for example, if I want to short, uh, I have specific parameters. I may start looking for small caps uh, with market cap below 300 million, with at least 10 million float, with dilution, with history of fading on the first day. Uh, they tend to fail uh, generally in the first 30, 40 minutes out of the gate. So when I have all this collected, I see, for example, on that day, the gap is 40%, the news is fluff. I have a pattern, so really a chart pattern, and I see book map with a stair step down pattern then I may take the trade short. Vice versa, if I'm looking for long, I look for other parameters. Okay. I mean, we would need one, one a whole hour to explain the parameters for short or for long, maybe another time with Bruce. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, let's see. Um, I guess there's still questions about your imbalance uh, CVD indicator. If you could uh, maybe uh, right click on that and show it again, like, uh, uh, the settings for it. Of oh, uh, this one, uh, Bruce? The purple one, yeah. Okay. The point is, uh, I'm very loyal to traders. Uh, this trader uh, gave me a setup, so I, I don't know if I can if I can share it. And I really don't feel like, uh, you know, uh, you can email me. I will ask the trader if I can share it, and then I will be able to, to share with you traders. Okay. Excellent. Um, I and I, I put um, uh, J Traders uh, contact information in the chat here several times. I just want to go through it uh, for you guys because um, uh, you you see his you'll see his website, his Twitter, his YouTube page, his also his email. So there's his contact, uh, and then um, the uh, uh, special offers from J Trader as well from Bookmap. Uh, they're a little bit longer term special offers, but. Um, you know, we offer our partner educators something that's not available from the website. Uh, you can get Bookmap for like three months um, at a discount for the first three months, uh, and then it will go up to the regular price. Or you can get Bookmap for a year, uh, and then there's also a Bookmap lifetime option uh, for global, but it will include all the add-ons for free for a year. So basically, you're getting Global Plus for a year. Uh, the link's in there, and all of his contact information is in there as well. Uh, so you can reach out to him. Uh, let's see, Jerry. Um, yeah, your liquidity tracker is not working. Okay, so I think uh, reach out to support on that one. Um, or maybe you just need to restart your book map. Um, it, it should work. It's free. Uh, once you download it, um, you should be able to add it. There's a, a video on how to add it. It's really straightforward. Okay. Um, and then um, uh, and then you might need to restart your book map. I'm not sure. Right. Usually you don't, but I don't know. You might. Um, okay. So, any other questions uh, for J Trader? I mean, these, these examples. I mean, these are excellent setups. I mean, they're all, it's all here uh, in uh, very very clear explanation. Uh, as always, I mean, J Trader always has this very very clear explanations of exactly what he's looking at, and and his actions, uh, and very very consistent with it. So, um, Bruce, uh, sorry if I interrupt you. Just want to add something before traders ask about um, the delta and imbalance. Just look over here when it's trading down, okay, it's trending down on uh, Sava. And then when we have this, you see that the volatility over here, okay, uh, shifts above the zero before the stock itself. So, how faster? this anticipates the move. You see, it? we have this still going down, then reversal over here, but this reverses before. Is that, is it a reversal? Is it a, is it a, a, a reset, uh, J Trader? A reset, 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 but uh, is a reset exactly, but also it bounces back up and we have a reversal. I understood, okay. So it's resetting, but then you're, 
Um, yeah, that un understood. So you'll reset for these specific periods. Um, and then nonetheless, like the period's over, who, who's in control after that period? Exactly. Right. In this case, long buyers. Right, right. It just happened to hap happen to take place just around the, the reset. Um, exactly. I put over here hourly reset. You can put it like uh, two hours, three hours, one day as you prefer. Right. Understood. Okay. Um, uh, excellent. Well, uh, uh, any other questions here? Let's see. Uh, Kendall, um, you seem to have the heat map filter off. Um, is that just to trade a more specific levels? Um, well, the heat map is, is on. I, I don't understand actually what you mean. The heat map filter. The smoothing. Oh, well, uh, no, no, he's just zoomed in. That's all. I mean, the smoothing is on. Um, he's just uh, really, you know, zoomed in here. Um, uh, to me, it looks like the smoothing is on. Uh, when you, I mean, the stocks, that's why stocks can look so good in bookmap is because like when you have that smoothing on and you zoom out, you'll just see these big, huge levels of liquidity. Uh, they, they really, um, you know, uh, uh, show uh, very nicely. It, you know, J Trader just has a really nice monitor um, and is able to get lots of price action within here. Uh, that's what I know. The point, Bruce, is because I'm blind. That's the reason why I need it so big. <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking at years for at charts, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, that'll do it to you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the smoothing is on. It looks like to me, um, it's a that's a really um, um, a powerful feature, actually, Kendall. Um, you know, if uh, our CTO uh, created that smoothing and it, it really works well with stocks. Um, the way that JTrader has it set up, like, or his monitor, it's looking more like futures, um, the way that uh, he's able to very clearly see some of these things. Uh, it's just a really, really high res monitor, it looks like to me. Um, any chance the moving averages in Bookmap? Yeah, there actually are, Steve, moving averages in Bookmap. <laughs> Um, you can get them through, through the marketplace from a third-party vendor. And we didn't develop This them. is my friend. Sorry, Bruce. This is our friend, Bus Pilot. Hi, Steve. Oh, he, he developed the moving averages. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't understand. No, he asked uh, how we can implement in Bookmap the moving averages. Ah, okay. Okay. Understood. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's available. Someone, someone already developed them. Uh, not, not us though. So uh, you, you can, you can go to that that uh, marketplace and, and check it out. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that, I think that's it. We've almost gone uh, an hour here. Uh, you know, J Trader, just excellent examples. Very, very clear, um, and um, uh, very, very helpful. Thank you very much. Uh... Everybody, thank you very much, Bruce and Bookmap, and I'll see you next time. Have a good trading. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care.